Hello and welcome to the 12th Nginjian video. In this video I'm going to show you how to initialize a sound and to play it. And I'm also going to show you a way to convert your sound files into the sound format that we are using. So I'm going to start by showing you what we have done in this video and the result. So stand by and I will skip the video. I found a new screen recorder program, but it is really, really laggy, so it's pretty much just pictures that's shown. But at least you will be able to see something. So this is how the game will look after you have finished this tutorial. When we walk over a point object, it will play a sound, which I recorded with Outer City and convert it into .ogg format. So I'm gonna put the phone a bit closer to the mic and hopefully you'll be able to hear it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over now. Yeah, hopefully you can hear that. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a sound object which is going to play our sound when we pick up our point. Simply create a private sound which means we only can access this from this class and we're going to name the sound to point taken sound. Oh sorry, sound point taken. Our sounds. And then we need to change something in our engine options. We need to allow us to use sounds. And it is fairly easy to do. We just remove this. We could make all this on one line, but I'm going to be a little bit more inefficient. We're going to return a variable engine, which is going to be an object of engine options, which we created before, but we returned a new one. Now we actually initialize it with a variable. And it goes to new, the same code we had before. And now we are going to type in the code that allows us to use sounds. Step in the engine options object, in this case engine and then dot get out the options which calls the method that allows us to get some new methods and then needs sound so now we can actually play sound inside our application and now we only need to initialize it and actually start it it is it is fairly easy it is it works pretty much the same way as when we initialize images so we do this dot sound point taken equals to sound factory dot create sound from asset this dot get sound manager and in context is going to be this class which is our main activity and then the path for it will be at mfx slash uh, sound point taken dot ogg. We're using the file dot ogg extension because it pretty much compresses the sound files, so we get smaller sound files, which means our game gets smaller. And then we need to surround it with a try and catch. Basically, this works that we try and initialize the object, our sound object. If it doesn't work it would normally throw an exception which would crash our application but now instead we actually catch it so it doesn't close the application it just tap out something in our debugger so if we can't access it we're going to debug.e can't access sound file so if it doesn't work we will type out can't access sound file inside this debugger and we will know that it didn't even get initialized and we are going to play our sound when we pick up uh, point objects. To access your sound object, you pretty much just do this. This that sound point taken. <coughs> dot play, which pretty much just plays the sound object. I forgot one thing. We need actually to type in true inside of this in order to make the sound work. Sorry, set needs sound was the correct method. My bad. 
anyway, so I'm going to have to try and run the game once again, and hopefully it will work now. I actually created a new folder called MFX, which is where I'm going to store all of the sound files. Basically, we type in MFX in order to get the sounds instead of GFX, which is where we store our sprites. If you want to get a sound file like soundpointtaken.ogg, you can just do as I did. I recorded my own voice and saved it in Outer City and exported it, exported it as .wav. I'm not sure if you can do it with ODG. Okay, you can. Never mind. So you can just record something in, for example, Outer City and export it as OGG. But if whatever file you have is not .ogg, you can go ahead and upload it to media.io, as I did, and you can convert it into a .ogg file. That was all for this video. Thank you a lot for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel and give the videos a thumbs up. And maybe even share it. It would really help a lot. Hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.